Um, hi everybody, it's Mrs. Mozingo. Nice to see you. Okay, so we're gonna learn a little bit about tessellations. Tessellations, we're coming off of a unit all about optical illusions and I wanted to teach kids a little bit something extra. Looking at the work of M.C. Escher, this is just our quick down and fast way to do it. We're just using post-it notes, something every day that you have at home. We're gonna take one side, cut an organic or geometric kind of shape on one side and move it to the other side. You ready? Here we go. So I'm just gonna do some quick cuts right here. Okay, so the goal is to move it exactly across the same way. If you need some help and to use maybe a ruler to make some lines, you totally can. But a lot of times, so some kids, they have kind of a hard time, so they might just use a ruler very quickly to move it straight across. So once you do that, you're gonna grab just a little bit of tape, could be masking tape, could be scotch tape, whatever you have around. Preferably a tape that works. Okay, that's helpful. All right, so once you get it across, this is where I ask folksies to just go ahead and tape it. Okay, so once you've got that, now, so you take it from one side, move it to the other. Now, let's go on the bottom now I'm gonna go ahead and do some curvy, kind of organic shapes. And again, you're just gonna move it straight across. So you do that top to bottom, side to side, where it's totally lined up. Okay, and then once you've got that, make sure that you're not flipping it and just put it just flat up against one another. Okay, there we go. So I've got kind of my tessellation. So from one side to the other, from bottom to top, and I'm making sure that it's totally lined up. Okay, now here's the fun part. You're gonna go grab a blank sheet of paper, put your name on it if you could. Now, here's kind of the tricky part a little bit, especially with a post-it. It's great because it just stays right down. And you wanna start to go ahead and trace it and do it very quickly. Okay, to get your shape. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've got even on one of my other papers here. Now, the beautiful part about tessellations, it comes from the root word tessela, which is a Greek word that means tile. So I've got this right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just start to move it down here. Now you're eventually gonna start to add details. Here's one, I've got a fox that's doing a disco dance. So you can start to move those tiles. You can add any sort of color, any sort of detailing work, but that's just the quick, down and easy version to make tessellations. Have fun!